Hi everybody, it's Hope from HopeYoder.com and I'm here with the Craft and Cut software showing you the new update for rhinestones. This is a lot of fun. We're going to select just a built-in custom shape and here's the letter A. First step number one is to transform the design before you turn it into rhinestones to the size that you want. So we'll just leave it here. A double click. We can select line rhinestones to add along the path. So simply select this that looks awesome. Now we have another option where we can select a fill pattern of rhinestones. You have your standard and then you have your cascade. Let's go back to the standard and show you a couple other areas that you can play with this. So line spacing as at point two zero default. Change that to whatever you like. Let's just keep going up to see the changes that are applied. 0.90. That looks pretty good. I have some holes in some areas where I would like to add more rhinestones. So to do that, select the single rhinestone application and make sure you select the same size and you can add a rhinestone here and there very easily. If you wanted to add another rhinestone in this area, just keep going until you get the design exactly like you would like it. And that looks pretty darn good with just a few clicks. So let me show you one more feature. Now this design looks great the way it is, but if you wanted to change a rhinestone because it wasn't in the proper alignment, go ahead and select Rhinestone Edit. And from here, you can select a rhinestone and you can right click and either insert or delete or move the rhinestone um, inside of the area that you've selected. So this looks pretty good. I'm probably going to then create a box around this if I was going to use it. So let me zoom out a little bit. I'll create a square and that will be a good square for my template. Now I can right click in the layers window to collapse all. I can take this and generate my cut file by going to save to cut, select the cutter um, brand of machine that you have in the drop down menu. Sticky flock is the material that you would use for the rhinestones. There is a video and you can save the file as the letter A and I'm going to say 10 SS. Um, rhinestones because that is the size of rhinestones I picked. And notice that it automatically knows that I need to save it as an FCM file. Hit save. And from there you'll generate your cut file and your template. I hope this has helped you create some rhinestones today.